pegs. He did it in about half a day. Now, I gave it a test run and the whole thing just fell apart. So, I'm going to try desperately and hold it together. And I'm going to tell you a little story. And this story joins the West of Wales and the West Virginia. And it's all about an old lady. An old lady who lived in a place called Bank Penru on the west coast of Wales. And she looked out of her cottage window to the sea, looking west, straight towards America. Except Ireland is in the way. But <laughs> didn't want anything to, she was looking towards America, of course. Her name was Betty Grucker. Crook backed Betty. She walked with a limp and a crooked back. Now, old Betty was what we in West Wales would call a guidanus. At least that's the old Welsh word. Some people would be quite unkind and call it radio witchcraft. An old granny witch. Very like the old granny women that you have right here now in West Virginia. Now, old Betty, she was one of these old ladies that you meet so frequently in the west of Wales. <laughs> Thousand wrinkles round the eyes, a single yellow tooth wobbling unnervingly in the breeze from her breath, and a single grey hair in the middle of her chin. And she could make potions, tinctures, from liquids, from well water, from the waters of Bank Penru. But these were very special potions. They were... What were they? Love potions. Love potions. How did you know? How did you know? Well, it's the thing that everybody, everybody wants love, don't they? In all its many forms and facets. Well, old Betty supplied that for the folk of Ceredigion, and they queued up outside her door, all waiting for their dose of the love potion. And one day, Two young women came calling for their potion. One was the maid of the big mansion at Plasware, and she had with her the little baby she was looking after, and his name was Kedrick. Also came the maid from the Riddlewick farmhouse, the poorest of the poor, and she had a little baby called Eleanor. Well, old Betty, she gave the two maids their love potion, but then she was a mischievous old soul. And what did she do? She gave the love potion to the two babies. <laughs> well, time passed, as it always does in fairy tales, in the blink of a crow's eye, as long as an endless final heartbeat. And 18 years passed. And after 18 years, old Betty, she was still there at Bank Penru. Even more wrinkles round her eyes, she still had the solitary yellow tooth wobbling unnervingly in the breeze of her breath. And she still had the single grey hair in the middle of her chin. And one day there was a... And a young woman walked in, asking for love potion. Well, old Betty sat her down by the fire and she was mixing the tinctures and potions from the misty bottles on the shelves around her house. And there was... And a young man appeared, asking for a drink of water. The moment the eyes of the young woman and the young man met, they raced into each other's arms. They started kissing and cuddling and canoodling right there in the middle of Betty's flagstone floor. Well, she took the poker to them and she stuck the poker between them and stopped them and they were trying to kiss each other. And old Betty asked them their names. And in between all the kissing, the young man said, Kedrig, and the young woman said, Eleanor. The two babies that old Betty had given the love potion to all those years before. And she explained to them that they were now doomed to be in love forever. But frankly, it didn't seem to worry them at all. They ran off together, they spent a whole year, well, do I need to explain? Kissing and cuddling. And after a year, Kedri went to see his father. <laughs> the squire of class where the richest man in Keradigian, which wasn't saying a lot, because Keradigian's a very poor land. Now the old squire 
forbade the marriage. He said, no, do- no son of mine is going to marry the daughter of a poor farmer. Well, Eleanor's parents forbade the marriage too, because they said no daughter of theirs was going to marry the stuck-up son of the stuck-up old squire of class when. So, Kedrick and Eleanor, they did the carrier gueli, the bedroom love. By which I mean, Kedrick put a ladder up to Eleanor's window, he helped her down, they took a little boat and they sailed all the way across Cardigan Bay to the one place in Wales where the preachers would marry Elopees, Barmouth. And there they had a honeymoon, and when they returned they discovered that the old squire of Plas Wern, in his anger had burst a blood vessel and he was six feet under the ground. Kedrick and Eleanor They filled that old mansion with so much love and so many babies that Kedrick couldn't even remember how many they had. And Eleanor couldn't remember their names. But the whole area was just so full of love. And it was all thanks to old Betty Brooker. And you know, I can tell you now, exclusively, just for you here. Old Betty is still there. She's still there in her little cottage. She's got even more wrinkles around the eyes, the solitary yellow tooth fell out years ago, but her little grey hair is still there. And she twirls it, and she looks out across the water to America, and she's thinking to herself, maybe my love potions would work in West. Virginia. (laughs) Be careful what's in the wine (laughs) and the water because it's said that old Betty is responsible for all the marital bliss in the whole of Wales and most of the marital strife. (laughs) Betty Grooker.